No musical instruments were used in this video. Everything you hear are vocal sounds. Good morning. It's fuzzer time. <laughs> Okay, so we have this tree back here. I'm about to give the cat some food, but if I'm not mistaken, I wanna say these are oranges. Um, at first I thought they were limes, but lemons, but I think they're oranges. Those over there are limes. That's a cherry tree. Salam. So what I'm going to be making right now is ensaymada, which is like a Filipino bread. And Chanel Eats, which is the YouTube channel that I watch this shorts on, she makes this delicious little bread rolls. And at the end of it, she does like butter with ice, powdered sugar, and ube extract and it looks so good so i'm gonna try it this recipe is gonna take like a day because she does put it in the fridge overnight so i'm gonna ba make a batch of focaccia bread and a batch of the ensaymadas right now and put them in the refrigerator for tomorrow which is sunday today's saturday so yeah Assalamu alaikum sisters, peace and blessings. I hope that you guys are doing well. If you're new, comment down below a caterpillar emoji. If you're a returning subscriber, comment down below a butterfly emoji. I am going to go get me some coffee and then come back home. My husband is going to watch a soccer game at 7 a.m. I have plans on making some bread, mopping the floor with the kids, and doing a couple of other stuff so i also want to make some candid um tangerines again because i only got to make one last time so yeah i'm gonna go get some coffee and then i will be right back at home inshallah okay so i'm starting right now i have my yeast sugar salt and the recipe it says don't mix everything together i mean don't let the yeast and the salt sit next to each other so now i'm gonna mix this and then we'll add eggs and I think butter, and then mix it for literally 25 minutes on low, so. There's three eggs, two, three. Milk. I'm gonna mix. So the recipe says to, um, Leave the mixer, the mixer on low heat for five to seven minutes, and then we're going to be adding the the butter. Like after I don't know, like four minutes, I'm gonna start adding the butter right now. So the inside mother dough has to be like that for. 25 minutes it was saying to have it on low heat but the problem was that the the dough and the butter was sticking to the bottom so i just put it on medium so we'll see it has to be like this for 25 minutes so after a while i really thought that it was not gonna start looking like this because this is what the recipe kind of looked like um but it's crazy so now it is because i put it on high heat and i'm just like doing it so and it's only been like a couple minutes so we're gonna keep it on medium and keep yeah keep kneading it bounces back see i don't know so let's just keep doing it 24 minutes Okay, sisters, I'm actually making another batch because I am preparing lunch right now. My husband, I think, is going to pick up a pizza, so I'm going to start making some wings. I've already seasoned them, and what I'm doing is just tossing them in this concoction of flour with seasoning. So, okay, here we have some focaccia with some cheese Costco pizza. Here's the leftover. Here it's proofing. 
I guess it's gonna take two to three hours. I just, I'm keeping it right here because it's like a warm spot. Okay, YouTube, this is what we're doing. We're separating all of the bottles that we have been collecting for no reason. I hate doing this. And we're separating them so we can get rid of them because we, we will be moving soon, so yeah. Look at all this mess, it's so embarrassing. But oh well, I don't care. I literally clean these all up by myself but I'm out here to help him. I'm gonna probably do most of this. Yeah, look at all of these over here. There's literally so many. We are a re recycling um, establishment. Wick, which is our neighbors over there. They have the craziest decorations. okay youtube so we just did all this right here my husband is already on his way taking some of them with muhammad and i had to wet over here because it was hella dirty and over here i'm also gonna clean up um but we most for the most part got rid of everything from over there so we just have to finish this over here and I'm going to clean the kitchen now it's the kitchen's turn and the ensamada my husband bought a candle y'all the ensamada which is right here next to soap <laughs> is pretty much so it has risen already as you can see I'm going to do this I'm going to put these assemble these together and then let them proof again so we can put them in the oven so, so that little batch that was at the window is this. I'm gonna let it proof, I think, for like an hour, and then I'll put them in the oven and see what they're what it's gonna be like. So yeah. After Dolhart and chilling, we're about to go to the park right now. Park as a family. Vamanos. So today at six, there is gonna be a family night at the masjid, so we are gonna go to that. You as well. They're gonna be talking about like you know reasons why we don't celebrate certain holidays and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, and I think they're gonna do share like alternatives and that kind of stuff with the kids. Whoa! I like the down one. I bought that one. Actually. Let me see the that one, one, Muhammad. The black one, Yusuf. I bought that one. Like it. It's a big one. Babe, look at how this is. They're 25. Each? Yeah. No, one is 19. <laughs> Ready? Ready for my, slide? Say, say my slide. <laughs> say my slide. You ready? You ready? Say my slide. Let's see how she's telling. Mama knows. Hi. You going to the park? Where is it at? Go. Go. Say cheese. <laughs> Where are you going? Are you going to the big slide? Still at the park. She just literally scared me. She was trying to go up the other way and I'm like trying to get her down literally scared the life out of me salam alaikum sisters so i am about to do we do because in like five minutes it is going to be asar prayer right now um oh my god i don't know what it is but every time that i am going into like a windy space especially like the park and that air hitting my lips my lips are like super chapped Probably from like re-licking them over and over. So I just put some Carmex on my lips. I'm going to do wudu and um, pray. Asad, the kids are upstairs showering because they were playing in the park. While me and baby Hafsa were like 
doing the slide and the swings they were like on the other side playing basketball pray my i said pray right now baby have went upstairs by herself and fell asleep so that was an hour and like 30 minutes of her playing in the park she, and she still was no an hour and 45 minutes playing in the park and she still did not want to leave but alhamdulillah we're home she was crying and all but yeah so yeah i'll see you guys in a bit after prayer i'm gonna start the oven and put the um in some other bread, the Filipino and some other bread, um, and see how those turn out. So, yeah. I am about to pray. Asad, my lips are so chapped. I really wanted to go to the masjid, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Everyone is like tired. Well, you know, why Muslims don't celebrate certain things, and it's gonna give like a talk about how we should keep our, you know, religious, cultural traditions and like that kind of stuff. But yeah, so I'm gonna pray right now and then go put my, my insamada in the oven. Let me go turn that on real quick before I pray. So you guys, I put the bread in, um, two different batches and 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna drop off the boys. They're actually gonna go to the magic. And baby hops asleep, so I guess my husband might stay with her and I can go with them for a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. So my husband is actually gonna stay with baby Hafsa. He's resting anyways, and he was just kind of like, mm, I don't know if I wanna go, cause he likes to take a nap around this time. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go with the kids. And I told him, just text me when she wakes up and then I'll come pick her up and take her to the Majid a little bit to just kind of um, be there with me, but yeah. So I'm waiting for Yusuf, he's in the bathroom, and I'm about to take my Insemara out right now in like five minutes, so, yeah. Oh my God, the worst family night ever. Like all the sisters were cutting me in line. It was so ridiculous. And by the time I got to the line, there was like no food. And yeah, the sisters were cutting me. I was like, are you guys seriously doing this? Astaghfirullah. Like we got there a little bit late. I ended up praying. Uh, mug it up there and stuff but yeah we're on our way back home okay sisters I am about to make the frosting for the ensamada <laughs> literally back from the so these are the ensamadas and I'm just adding the buttered frosting so, and I'm gonna have the boys try it. Alhamdulillah, I am so tired. I need to pray Isha. I'm running late on my prayer right now. I was thinking, I don't think that there's a family that prays together with small children. It's like really hard, unless your children are like really calm. So that's the case for me right now. So Alhamdulillah, I'm gonna go upstairs pray and then do some laundry all i'm worrying about right now is putting things in the refrigerator so they don't go bad or get wasted and yeah because i am exhausted my eyes are literally shutting on me salam sisters it's sunday woke up for fajr and alhamdulillah i'm gonna give me some coffee because i need to clean the floor and finish up the laundry before tomorrow monday so yeah i need some caffeine so I am in the kitchen. I'm gonna make the kids some focaccia bread. Okay, so this is the bread. Uh, I've transferred uh, it, so uh, I wanna uh, go ahead and... I have ube on my hand. I have no idea how that happened. So like this. And yes, mama. And I'm going to keep it like that. So my dryer broke. I think it broke. Something is not right with it. So I got these two hangers outside. We're going to have to air dry our clothes because... There's no other way uh, uh, like a day or two. until we figure out if we're going to have to buy a new one, but and we can't afford to buy a new one right now. So since my 
dryer literally i think it broke like it's making this really real re weird noise and when i open it i do see like literally fire in the little vent area so i'm just scared to touch it i'm just gonna leave it alone for a couple of days and see what happens i don't even wash all the time i literally only wash on the weekends i'll put like towels or you know under clothes undergarments like during the week but don't really wash nothing major or dry so weekends is really where i do my stuff but i'm just kind of like hanging my husband clothes on hangers he literally bought a bunch of hangers earlier because we were we were missing some and i'm just hanging clothes like in the bathroom outside i have that those hangers that i showed so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm about to get up and pray dohor in a little bit. So yeah, just brought these out here. I might need to like iron them or something. I don't know. <sighs> Assalamu alaikum, sisters. So my boys helped me um, mop the floor because I couldn't do it. Not if I wanted to get other things done. So our dryers. Sorry, I'm fixing phone on my tripod so you see all this junk in the back don't even mind it because i'm making some more and some other bread but i'm letting it proof again and i have some i need to get rid of all that trash and i have some focaccia bread that i'm gonna make for dinner my husband might make some sandwiches with it so once he wants to eat I'll put it in it takes like 30 minutes. The boys are at the park. My husband is showering. I was just chilling, relaxing with the baby um, and cleaning and doing laundry. I keep taking out the clothes in the yard to air dry. SubhanAllah. And I'm over here thinking, oh my God, it's going to be such a burden. But it's not. It's just like, I don't know. It feels so much. It feels, cr I don't know what to say. It feels very homey to do the laundry and like air dry it because we never really do that i mean we have a dryer and it's you know depending where you live in california i don't think people in california hang their clothes out and stuff but it just feels very homey to do that if that even makes any sense but yeah so i i'm just wondering like for towels like they're gonna be really rough so i don't know but for the insamada insamada to proof a little bit in a little bit i'm just gonna pop it in the oven and make the ube frosting with butter and the focaccia bread looks like it's about to be ready um so let me show you that so what you want to do when you when it's like proofed you'll see some holes you dig your fingers in with olive oil and whatever toppings you want but this time i'm not gonna put in the cheese at the beginning i'm gonna put it in i might put a little bit of cheese like not too much put it in and then like mid way it being done then i will add the cheese at the top so it doesn't get kind of like burnt you know last time it was still okay but yeah so that's what we're gonna do my husband is going to pick up the kids from the park in a little bit. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fix a couple of things. I have literally been on like a focaccia roll. I'm keeping it under the drawer of the oven to keep it warm. And it is starting to bubble. So, I'm going to ask my husband if he's going to want this anytime soon. So, yeah. I'm going to add, I'm going to ask him if he wants, I'm going to add onion, black olives, pepper, halal pepperoni, um, what else, I think that's about it, we'll see, the bubbles are a good thing though, it's a great thing when they bubble, it's amazing, <laughs> my hands are clean bro, that's it, that's it, don't repeat the same areas, that's it, that's it, I want to keep doing it. <laughs> right here, there's like some. Okay, that's like it. the corners. I, that's I'll it, wash my hands, I can do it too. No, 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 no. It's only, can only take two. Sisters, in Sayamadas. In Sayamadas, in Sayamadas. Yummy. Hi. Hi, Mama. 
If you made it this far, don't be scared to join the sisterhood. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and go ahead and share my videos with other sisters who you might think will enjoy this kind of content. Peace and blessings and hope to see you in the next video. My videos are super random, I know, I can't help it.